Ritual, Mech Knight, Pure, what build should you be playing? It's time to do 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 Alrighty guys, what is up? It is Forrest from YGobros TCG, and today we are making the big discussion of should you be playing the Blue Eyes Ritual deck, the Blue Eyes Mech Knight deck, or Blue Eyes Pure. Now, I am going to leave Blue Eyes Invoked kind of out of this list because I feel like over how things have turned, it has become essentially the power craft version of this deck. I do think it is still a viable option if you did want to play it, but overall I'm going to avoid it for this list specifically. Let's look at the first deck that is going to be the Blue Eyes Ritual, Ritual deck that essentially focuses on making Chaos Max Dragon as fast and as many as possible with complementing it with Chaos Dragon. Now, I think the main problem that I have with this deck is that it requires too many... I don't want to say bad cards, but it requires bad cards to be good. I mean, you have to run things that are very easily negated. Um, if you get Droll Unlocked in this deck build, you kind of just outright lose. I think another big thing that I have against this build specifically is consistency is so key in the Yu-Gi-Oh! game today that the Chaos build just kind of overrules that and says, well, when I do make things, I will make very hard things to get rid of, but not impossible. Now, however, with Thunder Dragons running around as rampant as they are, I think Chaos Max Dragon has a huge advantage against them. He's already a base 4,000 attack point monster, which is 800 points higher than the closest Thunder Dragon in terms of base stats, which is amazing. Now, they do have those abilities, Thunder Dragons, to essentially send the little stony guy to the graveyard to boost the attack. I think it's by like 300 points. It's like two to 300 points, something like that, and that could help, but they would also need to have a pretty good amount of those in their hand to even compete with Chaos Max Dragon, who cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects, which is amazing. Now, Chaos Max Dragon does have the ability to hit for that double piercing, so I would think in the Chaos Max build you would run certain cards like Book of Eclipse to complement that deck to be able to flip things face down and then hit for more damage. So, with that being said, I think the Chaos build ranks third in terms of the best three Blue Eyes variants that you can run. We're going to bring it up now to the second best build, and that is the Blue Eyes Mech Knight build. Now, I've been running the Blue Eyes Mech Knight build since it was kind of revealed as a scheme, and I really, really like this build. I think it turbos out all of the XYZ monsters amazingly fast. It gives you so much flexibility mid to late game, but I have found issues with that early game presence, and that is what concerns me. And I kind of have the same concerns with the Chaos build, and that's what kind of hinders them in terms of overall use. However, I do, I do believe that you could get tops with these decks, but with the Mech Knight variant specifically, going first, is it's, it's weaker, and that is where it's hindered because you want to be able to end on multiple negates against decks this format and that variant has the issues now you can run obviously things like hope harbinger and number 90 galaxy uh, the number nine galaxy monster who can negate monster effects so you have the ability to drop a spell negator or a monster negator in tandem with whatever um, hand traps you could be running and that is obviously build dependent but overall the mech knight build comes in at number two on this um just moving forward now the best one in my opinion is pure now pure has the flexibility that I feel the Blue Eyes deck needs. It has the main deck space to be able to side things out without hindering what you're going for in terms of the strategy. You're allowed to run extra spell speed cards in terms of, uh, and by spell speed I don't mean the actual spell speed of a spell card, I mean that like how fast these spells actually can help your deck function. You, get, you can run the two cards of consonants in the deck again, you can bump the pot of desires to two, in tandem with your three trade-ins and three melodies, this really helps, and I think it really does add that level of consistency that the deck could be missing. I personally, in my latest build, in terms of pure, I am running skill drain still in the deck, so I try to end essentially my scheme is to end with some form of monster on my main monster board going first that has some form of negation, whether it's monster, whether it's spell, or so forth. 
Then I also try to end with some form of hand trap in my hand. I do run the effect veiler and the ash blossoms back in the deck because I want that flexibility and that number of negates. This build that I'm going for essentially in pure is pumping out how many negates can I end on board. And with the pot of desires, I use those to help dig out the skill drain. So essentially what my strategy is, is I have the main monster negate on board, or I try to end on the vanilla beat sticks with the skill drain with hand traps in hand that really help essentially the deck function and compete against these things because you need to be able to negate out those big beat stick or big FTK decks that are just running around rampant right now. The deck already has kind of an innate advantage against Sky Strikers because they can't target vanilla blue eyes with Widow Anchor, which is huge, and the blue eyes monster is already so much bigger than the biggest Sky Striker monster that you have your advantages that way. So that is why the pure runs number one on this list because it essentially is the most flexible and allows you to do the most in comparison to the other two. Hey right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop it down in the comments below what you thought about this list. Are you running the Ritual, Invoked, Mech Knight, or Pure? I want to know. Let's get the discussion going about these decks. Guys, remember, Blue Eyes, Regional Tops. Let's get it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.